In this video, we're going to talk about how we can use a WMI filter in order to target GPOs. Group policy objects can be uh, applied and not applied to specific computers, all based off of what's called a Windows Management Interface or WMI query in order to filter out its selections. What this means is that we can use a WMI query to look for specific users or specific aspects of a computer to be able to specify whether we should apply it or not. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, so first off, let's talk about what a WMI query may look like or what a WMI is, actually. Uh, for that, I'm going to come up to the Start menu and I'm going to run a command called WebM test. WBEM test. This is a web-based enterprise management test. Basically, it's a Windows management inf in uh, instrumentation tester. It's a way to be able to test WMI. I want to connect to WMI on my local computer, so I'm going to go ahead and click Connect. It asks me which namespace. I'm going to leave that right to the default and just say Connect. At this point, I'll say Enum classes and it and then I want a recursive listing. This will take a couple of seconds and it will show a few thousand objects. And basically this is all of the items that I can get out of the Windows Management Instrumentation. Uh, we can see some of it, for instance, is the BIOS. And let's actually see what the instances are. None. Of course I chose one that didn't have anything in it. Uh, let's see, let's not get away from the sim stuff. There we go. MSFT. Win32, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Win32 BIOS, that should have something. Instances, it shows me my instance. Uh, I open that up and I can say show. Nope. There we go. Uh, and it will actually tell me ins information about the BIOS on my computer here. Uh, for instance, this BIOS is actually from VMware. That's a virtual machine. That's perfectly expected. Uh, it tells me a description. It tells me a caption and a version. Uh, it tells me lots of information about the BIOS. There's other information in here as I look through. For instance, I, there it should be a Win32 logical drive. logical disk, which if I look at instances, I'll see which which drive letters are on this computer. And it tells me there is a C drive and a D drive. And if I open up the C drive and I say, yep, show me this, I'll learn more about it. This is the C drive. It is not compressed. Uh, this is a fixed disk, so it's not a removable drive. It's currently running NTFS and it's free space and other information. So WMI gives me a lot of information about both the computer and the user. If I close down these, um, we got to that information by saying enumerate. Just give us a list of everything that's there. We can also do a query. So for instance, if I do a query here, and I believe that was select star from win32 underscore logical disk and I say apply, and if I typed it properly, there we go. Now it shows me the exact same information we were just looking at with regards to the logical disks. What I wanna do is I want to possibly create a WMI query that tells me if something is running on a laptop or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my query. Instead of uh, Win32 logical disk, I'm gonna say Win32 battery and click apply. And in this case, it doesn't return anything. And that doesn't return anything because, well, there's no battery on this computer. It is a Windows server uh, that doesn't have a battery attached. However, if this was a laptop or other mobile device, it would most likely return something here with a battery. So in theory, I can use this select command in order to find more information about whether something is a laptop or mobile device or non-mobile device. Uh, if you're looking for more information, by the way, this is what's called a weak will or Windows query language. 
Uh, it is very, very similar to SQL, structured query language. If you Google uh, a lot of this information, WQL queries, uh, you will find more information about how they're structured and how to write these queries. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and look at my group policies here. I've got uh, I've got a couple of group policies. Let's say this deploy 7-zip policy here. If I look at that, uh, currently it goes to the domain uh, and it's being applied to all authenticated users in my domain. Maybe I want to restrict that and only run this on computers that have batteries or mobile devices. So for that, I need to create a WMI filter. Currently, there are no WMI filters, therefore I can't use those just yet. But if we look on the left-hand side over here, we will see there are WMI filters that I can create. So I'm gonna go ahead and right-click and say new, create a new WMI filter. I'll call this one mobile devices. I could give a, a description here, um, query to find devices with, lap, with batteries. And then I'll say add. And the query I'm looking for is select star from n32 underscore battery. Now, obviously you would want to confirm that these queries are returning the correct results for you before you apply them to your GPOs. Um, I believe this one will work, therefore I should be okay. Uh, okay, so I now have my query. It's called mobile devices. Uh, it will query for anything with a battery. Let's come back to the deploy 7-zip. And now when I go to WMI filtering, I can select in the drop-down list my mobile devices. This says, are you sure you want to do this? And I'll say, yes. And at this point, this group policy will be available to everybody in the, comp in the company, all the computers in the domain. However, filtering will restrict it to only devices that have returned something, have returned one or more item from the Win32 battery class. Therefore, only devices with batteries, such as laptops and other mobile devices.